Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm JC and today's video is going to be um, just a reset of my Kanban board. And so I'm not doing the 90 day thing um, this year. I think <sighs> it didn't work out so well for me last year. And it doesn't have anything to do with the method itself. It is just, I wasn't very good at keeping up with the method. So I tried to simplify it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my Kanban board to reflect monthly goals, um, just concrete things that I want to make sure I get done within that month. I give myself too broad of a time to do something like, okay, I want to do this in the next three months. I get, I've realized it's too broad of a time for me. <sighs> We're better under pressure. Um, if you tell me something has to be done, like in the by the next day, I mean, even if I have to stay up all night to do it, I'll probably get it done with a tighter deadline. So, um, giving me that, that month to get something done in, um, I mean, I'm not going to lie and say, and say that I think I'm going to get every single last thing done in that entire month, but I have a better chance of getting more done if I restrict it to the monthly. Now, since of course January is halfway over, this setup is going to be for the last week, which basically this week is already over anyway, but it's going to be for the last week of January and February. So I'm going to leave it up for February. So I'm setting it and then I won't reset it again until January, March. And, but from March on, it'll be every month. I'll set a certain amount of goals that I want to reach within that one month so that I don't, if I don't give myself too much time to get lazy essentially, because I can do that. <laughs> If you give me too much time to do something, I will draw it out until that last moment of when it needs to be done. So tighter deadlines might work better for me. So um, it's just, um, I have the writing goals, YouTube goals, which aren't, it's really not that much because I'm still trying to fumble around with a few ideas on that um, and my business admin kind of like creating a newsletter the magazine that kind of stuff so yeah I'm going to set it up now but first um, my writing goals is basically to finish the first draft of the weight of her no I'm not done yet almost on chapter well, chapter 15 still because I didn't work on it today. But, um, forgive me. Getting the rest of the payment in for my cover for the diary so that I can now have that the cover to upload to Bowker with. Also, to fix the formatting issue because I just checked to see if it was... It's still not fixed. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that before I get frustrated. Um, so fix the formatting issue again. And then upload to Bowker, register my ISBN. Um, start promoting the book, I suppose. I, yeah, I'm new to this whole self-publishing thing. Um, upload to Amazon. Okay, all of that. Uh, all the stuff that goes along with republishing the diary going to start at a uh, start editing when love calls a novel I wrote years and years and years ago and it's really been sitting so it's I mean it's really really um, ready for me to go <laughs> and so I'm start phase one of that editing process and for my poetry books, I have to figure out how to create my own covers because covers are expensive, you guys. Of course, you guys know this already, but 
Yeah, that's why I'm just now finishing paying for the cover for the diary. But anyway, so I'm going to figure out how to be a graphic designer when I am not and create my own cover. We'll figure it out. Don't worry, I won't put anything out that looks like garbage. I'll get second and third opinions. Um, upload and all the process that comes with getting those poetry books self-published. That's on my list. Um, start the outline for Mackenzie Brown book three, which is also going to be a part of a outlining series that I will be doing here to take you a close, give you a closer look into my outlining process. And so I'm looking forward to doing that. And of course, just promote because I'm really bad at promotion and people don't buy your stuff when you don't put it out there to buy or promote it anyway. So YouTube goals, obviously to get more subscribers, to stay consistent with my YouTube videos, to can, um, I've started this, well, I had my first giveaway for January, so I said I wanted to do a giveaway each month. <sighs> Finance is willing, so I want to keep that up, um, and then start the series I just mentioned. And then goal number three is magazine stuff. I want to um, solicit for sponsorship. Um, uh, maybe create more content for the magazine, but I definitely want to put more authors interviews out um, each month and create a newsletter. So that's the gist of my goals. And now I'm just going to video me putting them up and that'll be it. of itself naturally in your routine. I also want to say that this video is being sponsored by Skillshare. I'm really excited about one of the classes I've been taking. It's all about essay writing, which I've done a lot of in this video, but oh, I, have here. Okay. I found out that the Roxanne Gay is teaching a class about writing essays. So anyways, I've been taking that. I'll talk about Skillshare later. Yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And let me know in the comments, what is your method for keeping track of your goals? Do you use the Kanban board or do you use bullet journal? Or do you just simply use your planner? Or do you use all the combination of all three? I'd like to know. Until next time, have a blessed day. Bye. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos from me, make you. What? Do you do the Come on, more. I don't know what that is. Board, maybe? <sighs> your method to keep track of your goals for the month or for the 30 days. That is off. Duh. What is your. I just completely went blank and forgot what I was going to say. <laughs>